Hey, that's me. Hey guys, happy E3. It's my third year here and I'm at the Bethesda Showcase for the first time. Cheers. Hey guys, so we're in the midst of E3 2019 and they just opened up the expo hall to the public. Today I'm excited to go check out the Nintendo booth, maybe go check out Bethesda, see if I can play some Elder Scrolls online or something over there. And what else? I want to see some really cool Cyberpunk 2077 stuff since they announced some new you know, updates with that and a release date with that as well this year. And I want to check out the Twitch lounge as well. Represent! I'm excited to go in, I'll see you guys there. My dudes, it is E3 day two, being open to the public. We're gonna go back over to the convention center, see what we can find today. Hopefully we can find some uh, cool gameplay, some cool demos. We'll find out. Uh, yesterday I ended up streaming all day, so showed some clips from that. We ended up doing a human claw machine, rock climbing wall, my first squad stream. It's been a lot of fun so far, and I'm excited to see what's in store for today. All right guys, let's head on in. audition in the morning that kind of came up last minute but I wasn't sure if I was gonna end up going or if I was gonna try to stay home and do some vlogging or editing the vlog for E3 afterwards. Kitty! Oh my god. Why are you doing this right now? Okay. <laughs> I love you. So Anyways, uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to end up going to E3 the last day, but I did end up showing back up 
and I got some really really cool stuff. I did the human claw machine again. I ended up streaming today so I didn't get too much footage, but I did have so much fun. I saw the cyberpunk gameplay demo. We didn't get to play it ourselves. It was pretty good. The characters are super customizable. Um, so it was nice to see that, at least like I think 20 minutes of gameplay. This E3 has been a little bit slower for me in terms of like playing games or anything like that, but it's been awesome. I've met a lot of really cool people. I got to hang out with some of my streamer friends, and I got some really, really cool merch and swag, and I kind of want to show you guys. I should just show you guys. Um, so E3 2019 for me, maybe not so much the year of the video games, but I got a lot of really cool stuff and met a lot of really cool people. Without further ado, let me show you some of the cool stuff. So I got um, these really cool like GameSpot enamel pins. And then I also got this other see, couple enamel pins as well. These are Borderlands based, super cool. And then I also got a Roblox game set. I won this and like the human claw machine thing. I don't know, it's kind of wild, right? And then I got a Minecraft enchanted apple <laughs> um, light, which is kind of cool. I uh, haven't played Minecraft too much, but good thing I will also now have this lava block night light. So basically I'm set um, to start off my Minecraft career. I think I need to start streaming it now. And then I also got some Overwatch stuff. I got like this Overwatch wallet, lanyard, and uh, awesome Reaper Overwatch keychain as well. This thing looks heavy duty. I could probably hurt somebody with that. And then this is interesting because I did the claw machine twice. <laughs> <laughs> that I actually won this twice. I don't know how or why, but I got two HyperX gaming mice. So probably going to give away one of these or just do a giveaway on stream. I'm not sure. Stay tuned for that. But I have two gaming mice. Maybe I'll just be really cool and have one for each hand. Is that like super pro gamer or will it look stupid? Let me know in the comments. I got this gaming controller charger, which is perfect because it's for PS4 and I have a PS4. So that's nice. I wanted to show you guys this. This is my favorite thing I got. Didn't win this necessarily, but I worked hard for it. So at E3 this year, Twitch had the most presence that they've ever had at an E3 thus far. They had this whole like lounge outside. And in case you guys didn't know, I'm a Twitch partner. Um, I live stream on there, whereas I post my vlogs over here, and I got this awesome hoodie! Uh, ignore the Twitch shirt as well, I guess, but I got this awesome hoodie, and it's so cool! And I got my 5k badge for like 5k viewers, um, my little Twitch patch, and like the hood zips off and everything, and it turns into like a little bomber jacket. Anyways, this is like my new favorite prized possession, so thank you so much. Twitch for that. I worked for this. <laughs> Maybe that's what makes it more special. That's all the cool stuff I got at E3 this year. So there you guys have it. This has been my third E3 in a row and they've all been so, so different. This one I kind of came at more as a live streamer, as a Twitch partner. It's been a lot of fun um, just meeting up with other streamers and just meeting new people as always. So that's been my E3 2019 experience. If you went to E3 as well and had a different experience, feel free to share some of those in the comments below. And who do you think won E3 this year? Some people are saying Microsoft, some are saying Nintendo. And as always, thank you guys so much for subscribing and liking these videos. If you could keep that up, that would be amazing. And also sharing. Sharing is caring. Anyways, thank you guys. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.